What's going on everybody and welcome to part 5 of our Halite 3 or Halite 2018 competition video series. In this video we're going to be working on uh, just kind of continuing to build the script. So right now we've got our ships going out and uh, somewhat reasonably uh, finding Halite and collecting it. Uh, but as we saw in the last video, everything's ending with ships that are just full. So within relatively short order, our ships get full of Halite. They elect to stay still or not move anymore. Uh, they definitely don't need to be collecting halide anymore, and now it's time that they go back uh, to the actual shipyard to drop off the things that they've collected. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing now. So, to do that, uh, basically outside of the wild true loop, so inside of this, this is updated every frame. But there are certain things that we're going to want to track even outside of that. So, what I'm going to do is say, uh, we're going to say ship states, and this will be an empty uh, dictionary. And then uh, we're going to start iterating over our ships. Now, if our ship, uh, if if ship.id is not in ship states at all, this is probably because the ship was literally like just spawned. We're going to say ship uh, ship states ship.id equals collecting. So if it's just spawned, it's a collecting ship. I can't imagine any other reason why it wouldn't be in ship states. Uh, so I'm going to assume that that will handle things. Then what we want to do is I kind of want to leave these things in because I'm trying to decide if I want to leave position options and all that. Because if we leave this in, we can always do a check as far as uh, if we're about to like run over somebody or at least we can append that ship's position uh, to make sure our other ships don't run into them. Because right now I kind of want to show a different navigation method. Um, so if we go into here, um, I'm trying to think where it even comes from. It's, it's probably, let's do halite, uh, positionals maybe. Let me just look for navigate. I forget where, <laughs> where it is. Uh, let's see, it must be, let's try game map naive yeah so naive maybe yes naive navigate so here they've got this get unsafe moves and then you can mark as unsafe and that appears to be very similar to what i'm doing so you may want to uh check out this method rather than using what i'm doing but i'm going to continue I think my way <laughs> but basically what naive navigates going to do is return either a direction or direction still in both cases we can still collect that position um, and it sh in both systems should work with each other because at some point you're going to want something more complicated than naive navigate and I might maybe at some point here I'll show you guys what I'm talking about as far as why naive navigate or my navigate is not yet good enough um, and we'll, we'll get to that. So anyways, but what's nice about Naive Navigate is um, you get your, you input a destination. So it's not just like a singular move that you're gonna make, you input, where do you want your ship to end up? And then from there, it attempts to calculate how it's gonna actually get itself there. Um, so anyway, uh, so let's go back here. So yeah, so after this, so at this point, I'm going to say we're going to run and run this stuff if uh, if the ID is collecting. So if ship states uh, ship.id equals collecting, then let's see. Then we'll just run this. But in this case... Okay, if the halide amount, so the ship will stay still for this or ship is full. I'm going to remove this because this is not um, not really what I want, I don't think. So, because at some point you're, you're basically going to want to say if the ship is, you know, has more than some amount of halide. So, now this is the game map, like what what's the halide on the game map there. So, I think I'm just going to remove the or ship is full bit. And do this. Um, and then maybe here. So then uh, we'll, let's see, if halide amount is, 
less than constants max halite. Well, we definitely don't want that. Is that where we had the divide? Yeah, that's where we had the div by 10, so we'll leave that. Uh, and then else, so if it's less than a tenth of, you know, less than 100, then it's going to move. Um, in which case, I'm not even sure I like that one. I mean, part of me wants to just do this. Um, or even more so, if it's just collecting, let's just make it collect. Because it's going to collect based on the, the most wise decision to move anyways. So that should be enough. So if it's collecting, do all that. Then what I'm going to want to say is if uh, ship.halite amount is greater than, um, I, th I don't know if we're bringing, in, yeah, we are bringing in constants. So constants dot max halite. And then let's say divided by three for now. So this is kind of a parameter that you're going to want to decide for yourself. Um, and probably it's going to change depending on where you are in the game as well. But if two ships collide into each other, they both sink. And that might sound like it's an equal battle. It's like if your enemy collides into you, you, you both just lost a ship. But it's not really true. So if, if you're always collecting up to 1,000 halite and your enemy only collects like 100 halite per ship, and if it's a 1v1, then it starts being advantageous for them to just run their ships into your ships because you're going to sink with 1,000 halite and they're only going to sink with 100. So um, anyway, you, you probably don't want to always collect and fill up your ship completely. So if the ship.halite amount is greater than a third of the max, so greater than 333, what do we want to do? Well, let's just say, uh, let's do this. Ship.states, um, and then we'll call this depositing. So then, if, now at this point, and in fact here, uh, this could be problematic. <laughs> so if, Let's do this. So we'll call this elif because obviously if this is depositing, and then I'm about to ask if if it's uh, if it is depositing. So now I'm going to say if ship states uh, ship .id equal no, nope, don't do that. Uh, or no, yeah, <laughs> uh, depositing depositing. Then we want to actually go and deposit. Uh, the reason why I wanted to flip that is you can't. So here we're sending the command q. If you send the command q. Um, you have, you, you can't, you can't send two commands per ship. If you do that, it's not like it's going to take the most recent one or something. No, it's going to error. So, so don't do that. So, uh, so that's why I wanted to flip these because here we change it to depositing. And then if after that you asked this question, well, you're in trouble. Um, we could also use an LF, but I'm, I'm going to do it this way. So anyways, if ship states ship.id equals depositing, uh, what do we want to do? We're going to say now the move equals, and we're going to use that game map naive navigate dot naive underscore navigate. And we want to navigate the ship to me dot shipyard underscore position. There's also like a get drop offs. Um, I don't know, I forget where get drop offs is. Drop offs. There. Yeah, okay, so it's in game map. So you can get drop off. So later, if you've added more drop off locations uh, and you're not sure you know, which one you want to navigate to, you can do this. You also, there's ways to calculate like the Manhattan distance to all the drop offs associated, you know, close to your ship. So you can pick the closest one and so on. So, anyways, but for now, we just have a shipyard. So we're going to say our move is game map naive navigate shipyard position. So this is going to navigate our ship back. Uh, to the shipyard. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is from here, we add that uh, command q dot append ship dot move, whatever that move is. But we also are going to want to, so naive navigate, since we're running this first, already is going to mark certain moves on save for itself. So we should get away with running this one first. Um, so, but the other thing we want to do is at least notify our other little system that we've got going on here, the uh, position choices. So again, we want to, um, where is position choices? <laughs> uh, 
where did we do it before? Oh, here we go. So position dict. So we'll just take this copy, paste, and instead of, so directional choice is actually move in this case. And then we'll append, um, and we do the ship move. And that should be good. <laughs> Let's see what we screwed up this time. Something for sure, because we didn't make it very far. So ship states, invalid syntax. What's the invalid syntax? I'm just not seeing it. Oh, okay. It's the, that one. <laughs> I'm looking up here for the colon. Okay, save. Wow, look at us. We made it uh, a good distance this time. Okay, so now let's go back here into replays and 741. Let's see what we did. Doesn't look like we... Oh, wow, we definitely crashed into ourselves. <clears throat> <laughs> so at no point here do we actually collect and why is this guy is that just me maybe that means he's full actually oh <laughs> they crashed into each other very nice very nice good good work team so in this case and they just all went to the same spot, which is kind of weird because they definitely weren't. They shouldn't have. So they're at least, they're definitely still crashing into each other and uh, depositing, collecting. Hmm. Depositing, depositing. So the other, only other thing I think I could try is converting the like we could rather than moving so after you've appended the move positional choice uh move here is already a naive navigate what we could do is convert our other move to a naive navigate possibly um it might be the case that we aren't we are unable for whatever reason to actually access this i'm not really sure um, let me try that. So, shift up, move directional choice. So, directional choice is the actual direction. Uh, position dict is the directional choice that we wanted. So, what if we did ship dot move game map dot naive navigate ship to that coordinate that we chose. So what if every move is a naive navigate? Because they're definitely using that mark unsafe thing. I'm just curious if that'll solve the problem or not. Uh, let's go here. Man, but they still don't want to actually go in deposit. It's really frustrating. See, he's got a thousand halides, so something is clearly wrong in my logic. Depositing. L if. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So we had double equal. That's obviously a true false kind of thing, not a uh, assignment. Positing. So now this is not happy. Okay, in this case, uh, the issue was me dot shipyard dot position, not an underscore position. So uh, running that again, uh, the game ends, and uh, this is an example of one of those replays. So in this case now, we're just getting all jammed up at the actual uh, drop-off location. So the only other thing that you would need to do at this point is once you've dropped off, it's time to uh, move over and uh, <laughs> make way for the other ships. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is stop it here and in the next tutorial, 
uh, we'll focus on doing that and some of the other uh, little things that we need to do to uh, get our ships a little more efficient and also out of the way here. So anyways, uh, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave those below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.